The warmer weather on the way. Police in Providence are reminding ATV and dirt bike riders the vehicles are illegal on city streets. Yeah, 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us live now in studio. And Alex, the city says while these are still a concern, there have been far fewer spotted on the roads than in years past. Yeah, Mayor Brett Smiley and Colonel Oscar Perez say people seem to have gotten the message and the city has seized over 200 illegal vehicles since last year. They claim they're no longer the major nuisance that they once used to be. Illegal ATVs and dirt bikes taking over city streets in Providence is no longer a top concern for city leaders, but still one they want to remind people of as the summer approaches. We're not declaring victory. We're saying that there has been substantial progress, but we're remaining vigilant. Colonel Oscar Perez says a community response team implemented last year, along with a non-emergency tip line, has made the difference. Over 200 illegal vehicles have been seized since that team was formed. Smiley says many of the vehicles end up being destroyed for scrap because they're inoperable but others are donated to law enforcement in the Dominican Republic. To make sure that uh, there's a positive outcome for some of these vehicles where it will go to actually make the DR safer. In addition to fewer ATVs on the road than in years past, Providence Police weekly crime statistics show there's nearly a 25% drop in all violent crime so far this year. Perez says it's good police work. And we proactively uh, make sure that we're reacting to things before we get, we get calls on it. The mayor says quality of life concerns like ATVs, graffiti and noise are all interrelated. Smiley separately has legislation at the state house that would allow Providence to install noise cameras. If that gets passed, then we will go out to bid immediately uh, for the first nurse cameras in the city. We think this can be uh, a real improvement to the quality of life in our city and uh, and it's starting to get unrolled, uh, unveiled in other communities around the country. Now, as for ATVs, the city still mans a non-emergency tip line to report sightings of ATVs, and you can do so anonymously. We have more information on WPRI.com. Live in studio, I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.